lot of the you know, violent incidents have been occurring with increased frequency and intensity. The local chapter of the Maine Service Employees Association represents a few dozen workers inside Long Creek Youth Development Center. They say in the second half of 2023, there were 37 times when a resident assaulted another resident and another 23 times a resident assaulted a staff member. One of the worst riots um, to workers recollection occurred in late January. If they had more staff to be able to secure the facility, then they would be able to mitigate these ongoing um, incidents. In a letter sent February 7th to Maine's Department of Corrections, they say the staffing crisis began during COVID. They're asking to hire more workers, but also restore multiple positions that have been cut over time that they say were key towards helping educate and rehabilitate those residents. What's been going on is getting in the way of, again, making sure that the kids are getting the mental health support, the clinical support, the educational support that they need. This comes just days after Long Creek Superintendent Lynn Allen resigned for personal reasons. The Department of Corrections in a statement Wednesday said they take the safety of their workers and residents seriously. They say Commissioner Randall Liberty reached out to the union to set up a meeting that both sides say hasn't happened yet. In part, the department said, quote, we are hopeful that meeting will be productive and assist in our continuing efforts to ensure that Long Creek is optimally positioned to achieve its rehabilitative mission. While all that future discussion is happening, there is an immediate need right now.